Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. So after last episode, I was going around doing some repairs, and I found out where I was supposed to actually put these catalysts in the solar panels, and you can actually see see the slots right here down by the hinges. I uh, completely missed it. I was looking for, like, something similar to what's on the ship. So hopefully, we should be able to interact with this. There we go. There's one catalyst. And I think this brings it up 50%. So it'll go from 75 to about 110-ish. 110, 120, somewhere around there. Which isn't bad. Uh, what I want to do today is I want to continue my hunt for another CM. Or for a CM, I should say. I was also thinking too about what I'm going to do about the power situation. Uh, because resources and power is so critical now, I might hold off on the power supply unit. I might actually just try to get more solar panel modules. Just because, hey, it's free power and the ship does have a capacitor. Uh, right now, with the ship, oh, the outpost, and the solar panel modules producing like... Uh, now it should be about 1200, 1,200 power, which is more than enough to run the station as it is. If I need power, I can always turn the ship off that saves 500 easy no problem but with that being said we're gonna head back to broken marble we're gonna look for a few more uh, a few more warp cells while I'm out there and see if we can find a command module or another solar panel module so I'll see you at broken marble again okay I'm at broken marble now there's actually two of them here there's the one here right in the debris field there's one up here that's gonna be entering the debris field soon other than that, there's a couple of ships, a few corridors, some derelicts, and the outpost, which we're not going to bother with. That must be a special thing. I have no idea. So I'm going to go up to this one here, and we'll check it out. And uh, I, I read in the forums that apparently if it does have a turret to it, all I have to do is just grapple it, and I can actually shut the power off to the turret right from the command module, or the, the ship's power system. But anyways, I shall see you there. Okay, so here we are. So, what I think I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to leave that derelict, because we'll probably find a warp cell on there anyways, and I have one on me. So, let's go ahead and grapple this thing. See if there is any turrets inside. Now, this is going to put a bug to a test, too. Because someone in the forums had an issue where they were... They were grappling to something, either grappling to something or docking to something, and the turret actually killed, shot them through the camera and actually killed them somehow. Don't know how that was possible. But we're going to find out if it's true or not. Uh, the range is 100 meters. Uh, supposedly, too, unless it's a power supply module, they shouldn't actually have power because the turrets need actual power to fire so I don't know what's gonna happen here I've always had <laughs> bad luck trying to find these things been owned by too many of them and I'm gonna watch out for turrets on the outside too but I think we're okay on this one bring her up And let's see if I can be magic magically zapped through television. Alright. What I find weird is if this thing doesn't have power, why are all these these running lights on? Alright, well let's, let's keep recording. Just in case something does happen. Uh, I think I might have time to actually go check out that derelict. I just want to be out of here before we enter that debris field. Don't need the weather. That's what I'm calling anyways. Okay. I have grappled. I'm still alive, and I don't know if I see anything in there. 
they have been moving the turret stands, so it could be a turret in there. We'll find out right now. Oh. No, it doesn't say it's got a turret, it just says base consumption. So that's good. I can actually shut that off if I really need to, and I think I will. Alright, so I'm going to go uh, head out and go check out that derelict. I'll let you know if I find anything good. If not, I will see you when I get back home. Alright, we're back at the, the home station. Uh, it didn't blow up on me, so that's a good thing. But I want to go and uh, just have a little snoop around before I try to actually do anything with this thing. Make sure that I'm not going to have any issues at the same time, do any repairs that I need to do on the outside. Uh, but mainly, I want to make sure that there's nothing in there I need to worry about. Like a turret on this floor. Okay, there's no turret. That's good. Not up here, anyways. There used to be a mount up here. Yes, right there. Alright, so no turret in there. I do see some cancer I gotta fix up. And I didn't see anything inside. I don't think I did. And I can't see through this door because... Oh, because of my, <laughs> because of my light. That's why I'm getting glare. Uh, just curious to see what like, goodies we can get. All I found on the other derelict was a couple of warp cells. Which is all I'm really looking for. And no, I don't see a turret, but it's powered down anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and undock this. I think I have to turn the power back on to actually use the RCS. I'm not 100% not sure about that. I'm actually curious to see if they actually unlock this room yet, too. I don't think they have. Uh, the gunnery control, I think it was called. And then, yeah... Uh, I'm going to try to have everything in front of the window, so I'll probably have my crew quarter in the back. And I'd like to have my airlock and solar array coming off of the other two in front of the window there. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a few more repairs around here, and I'll bring you back once I've got everything all docked up and put together. Huh, interesting. There's actually a church stand right underneath the bridge window. That's cool. Good to know, good to know. Anyway. Okay, I got everything all put together. I got it all docked. Or I'm actually docked to the station right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to turn the command module back on. And look at that. I've generated just enough power to cover everything. That's actually really good. And that's without the generator. So now the question is, is everything pressurized? Uh, let's see if I can... I uh, probably need the air generator. We'll figure that out once we get in here. We'll just equalize all the pressure and go from there. Alright, jetpack, helmet, just in case. I know it's not needed, but you never know. I have open doors and let out some air. So, we just got to go through and make sure everything's equal. It's not going to be here that does it. It's going to be this one because this is where I opened it does the command module actually have pressure oh wow I'll be I'll be damned I, I thought it would have been completely depressurized oh we got a fire but that's nothing new this time I know not to burn myself can I reach you I thought I had a stim pack on me. I thought I, I don't. Uh, I think I can get it from here. Yes, I see sparks. That's good. And it's a good thing I have a couple of stim packs too. Because it's not the first time I've played with fire. No siree. Uh, we've got any other repairs we got to do in here. What are we at? 82. 
Let's go upstairs. That's the dock. This is this is the bridge. Okay. All right. We don't have a hull breach. That's good. Oh, we do. Or is that a hull breach? Oh, it is too. No problem. Got my tool out. As long as it's not a fire, I can handle it. I like how it tells you about the failures just as you find them. Oh, I'm on, I'm on fire. Oh, what do you know? There's a fire in the main room. Thanks for telling me. Okay, that should be everything. So now we can go up. We'll claim this as, a, as our own. And hopefully nothing spawned when I had to relog earlier. I hope there's not another breach up here either. Ah, that door scared me. No breach. Oh, there's our solar panels. I'll go ahead and fix this up and I'm going to turn the life support on. Because that bloody hull breach. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Let's get some light going so I can see. See if we got any goodies laying around. Got so many repairs I gotta do now. Uh, nothing. It's almost like there'd be a st singular. Uh, what was that? A star detonator in there. And we got a couple of suits. No jetpack or helmet. Oh wow! It's the first time I've actually seen things in here. All right, let's go ahead and do this claim. We are going to name this to, it's going to be the Lab HQ. Confirm. And of course we work for Alt, uh, Alt Corp. Okay, let's see what we got in gunnery control here. See if we got any goodies. Probably not. Usually stuff on the floor. But it looks like they cleaned up this time. Uh, maybe stuff will show up after I re-log. Alright, now to get rest, rest of the station repressurized. Since I don't have any life support going on at all. Whoa. Now we're going to have to find some more posters and pictures and plants and all sorts of neat things. Okay, so there's still a turret there too. Then we know we have one outside. Okay, so now which is which here? I got one on A and one on C, I believe. This is obviously the door I just came in. Yes, it is. So I'm going to go in here and that's to the airlock. That's not the way I want to go. I want to go this way. Because this is where my life support is. Okay, pick up that. See if there's any other goodies laying around. Sometimes they have spare parts in here. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Let's go get our life support up and running. Anything here? Nope. I gotta check though, because the uh, solar panel had a uh, pistol in it. And I can breathe again. Alright, so, let's power supply, go to life support, and yeah, I guess we'll turn on this one. We'll turn them both on, see where everything's at. 94, uh, let's actually check the room list here. I keep forgetting about this. And it tells you, like, everything. Alright. I didn't know it actually had its own. Alright, well, we're going to have to turn all this on then. Do we don't have enough power, maybe? Yep, uh, that would be it. Oops, that's the wrong button. I want... Reactor, yes. So at least I'll get the life support going so I can... Uh, Repressurize the whole station. 
And with that being said, I'm going to take care of this off camera, do a few more repairs, top up jetpacks because I've gone through a lot of oxygen while I was doing all this maneuvering and whatnot. But anyways, I uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and I will see you in the next one. Later.